Each criminal racket within Mafia 3 is made up of various different differing objectives. All of the open world activities in the game and quests and missions are all linked to the main narrative of this criminal racket. And the player picks and chooses which ones they want to complete in order to do enough damage to that racket, lure that hideout boss out to defend his turf, so to speak. In reference to our sort of construction yard racket, Lincoln can shake down foremen who are overseeing the construction project in order to get more information out of them of how this racket is working. That in turn will unlock other missions that Lincoln can partake on. We've put a lot of work into actually modeling the way the Mafia operates and how it kind of seeps into the foundations of a city. There are bosses who are running different parts of the city and they all have specialties. They have like these big front businesses that they're using to launder money, run whatever illicit things that they need to do. Each of the rackets are protected by these enforcer characters throughout the world. So these guys are sort of the, the muscle that oversee the operation for Sal Marcano's guys. Once you take out these guys, you're going to do actual damage to the operation because it's going to run much less smoothly. So because every player story is unique in our games, we don't dictate that you take these guys out, but they're big targets and you probably want to go after them. The enforcers that Lincoln has not taken down at that point will actually fall back into the hideout, in turn making that hideout much, much harder to, to sort of take on. The player is incentivized to go around the open world and actually take on these guys, take on these guys in their own turf, destroy them where they are rather than facing them at the end where they could increase the scope of the hideout and the challenge of the hideout exponentially.